Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, as you see behind me here, Rhonda is on the lift. So, Rhonda had her first mechanical failure ever. She left me stranded on Sunday. It happened. <laughs> so, we were about two miles from home. I stopped at the grocery store hoping to uh, grab a couple things to put on the grill. I walked out of the store. I go to get on the bike. I hit the start button and I got a partial crank and then click 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 okay so I replaced the battery last month and I was like well maybe I have a bad connection so I went and took the seat off the bike and checked all my connections everything was fine so I uh, went ahead and sorry face it just there and you can see the cat in the window trying to get out because he sees me but um so a guy tried to help me jump start the bike nothing click 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 so I was there for about an hour checking stuff debating on having it towed because again I'm only about two miles from home and uh, all of a sudden the bike fires right up okay that's weird so we hop on the bike ride home again it's only about two miles get to the house I shut the bike down click 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 okay my starter has failed so I hopped on the internet like any reasonable person would do did a quick Google search and I found that uh, quite a few people recently have been experiencing some starter failures on these bikes now Rhonda's five years old and uh, she's got a bunch of miles on her so I knew eventually this day would come and I apologize if you can hear him yelling. He is super needy. <laughs> but, uh, so I've already removed the starter from the bike. It's very simple. All I did was remove one 10 mil from the cooler, drop that down, and then the starter was held on by two bolts. So, and from what I see here, there's a little bit of oil right here where the starter was. And from what I've read online, what happens is oil seeps past the seal, which obviously we can see has happened, and leaks into the starter and causes the failure. Well, I think we can verify that is what happened. So I priced it through Indian, and at the dealer, parts and labor, it was going to cost me over $500. Sorry for the lighting in my workshop. Uh, this LED light pops like crazy but let me show you guys this this is the starter that came off the bike this is the factory starter it's a Lucas TVS from Indian a new one was $400 then an hour labor to replace it after tax and everything it would be about $550 out the door I was able to go online get a Lucas TBS, same as the factory starter, and this only cost me $91 with shipping straight to my front door. So I'm going to go ahead, get this thrown on the bike, and I will be back for you guys in just a moment. And we're back with the new starter installed, everything's back on. All in all, this repair probably took about 15 minutes. Um, where the repair was at, it was not in a good place to video, so rather than making a how-to, I just, uh, I wanna show you guys that, you know, all bikes fail. I don't care if you ride a Harley, a Kawasaki, a Honda, an Indian, all bikes fail, all mechanical items fail. And uh, today was Rhonda's turn, she failed. So now that she's all on, before we verify this repair, do me a favor. If you like this video, go give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, share. If you're not subscribed, bang that subscribe button. Help us grow. We're getting close to 100 subscribers. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. But with all that being said, let's see if Rhonda works.
Well guys, thanks for tagging along on this, on today's journey. So it's looking like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna wait for that to pass and then I'm gonna take her down to the car wash and get that oil cleaned up and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Out.